and gentlemen, the pits are packed and the action is beginning here real soon at the Ironhead Nationals. Welcome back to today's video. Excited that you guys get the chance to hang out with us for the afternoon at the Willamette Speedway located here in Lebanon, Oregon. Just walking up to the back stretch. Uh, they have really been working on this surface all day long. We have a $2,000 payday on the line tonight and a 40 lap feature ahead of us. Yesterday we got the win here at the Ironhead Nationals and we're hoping to sweep the weekend by winning tonight as well. Walking up close here, you can kind of see uh, a nice shot of turns three and four. Last night the bottom was pretty good down in one and two all night long, but in three and four for the feature, it finally started to slicken off and get wide, and the bottom was super skinny, and the top was pretty far up here. Wasn't quite on the fence, but not too far down, and you could use that to pass lap traffic or race for position. And with a couple more cars here in the pit area, along with the weather conditions, it's, it's fairly warm and the wind is starting to pick up. We're hoping to see a slick surface where we can really race hard, you know, maybe a little bit down low where you got to slow and hit the bottom, a top or a cushion to hold you up on the high side, just anything that can put on a good show for the fans. As I mentioned, this is Oregon's highest paying and biggest limited race that they host, so we definitely want to be parked on the front stretch at the end of it, and that is going to be our goal. Anyway, we're going to get the night started with a group qualifying, and that will set us up for the rest of the show. race car after qualifying and uh, the rest of everyone has wrapped up as well ended up fourth quick out of 21 limited sprints pretty solid sucks I felt like we didn't even have a chance at fast time because we went out in the first group and they didn't let anyone hot lap tonight and then also with us doing group qualifying there's like seven of us out there and pretty much for all of our session we were just burning off the grease so didn't even have a chance to really be at the top of the charts just because of the track conditions and it not having enough laps for us to be I mean we're at full speed but we're not showing the fastest lap time we could. And I won't lie, that's just like extremely frustrating that your pill drop puts you in a spot like that. I mean, granted, we still qualified good, uh, but you know, I always, I wanna be as far up as we can. Anyway, moving on to a heat race now. Uh, they're gonna be doing a four car invert and we will be in the first heat race starting second row inside. We need to try to maintain our position or move forward. My goal is I'm gonna try to at least get to second or win the heat race. Think the racetrack's gonna be okay. Maybe be able to run down low, possibly up in the middle. We're just gonna kind of have to see. We're the first class of the day, so we're kind of making the racetrack what it is and also being that first heat race, that will be our role as well. But starting, uh, starting third here, goal to move forward and transfer into the redraw for the top eight.
third to second in our heat race for the 18T. That should uh, easily lock us into the top eight redraw, which will be up next. Really happy with our balance. I think we had potential to win that heat race if things fall differently. I was on the inside and they had just actually went out and worked the top by throwing some water on it and rolled it in. So it was a train around the high side. I mean, it was so fast. It's just, it's not even comparable. You can put your right rear in grip. We're on the bottom. There's almost no grip at all and it's rock hard slick. So hopefully at some point they try to touch the surface so we have, you know, a couple more grooves to work with. But uh, I got on the, out in the open behind the leader and we were pretty much identical lap times for a handful of laps and then we caught traffic and from there I didn't want to risk anything because there's just no point in pushing it to uh, win a heat race. But we are now all set up for the 40 laps coming up just a little bit later. We'll watch the rest of the classes and kind of see what uh, the racetrack looks like and then we'll be gearing up for our A. Hey, oh. Oh, hey that's hey, better. Hey. And the home will start inside. Row two in the three spots. Starting the area. Same as last night. <laughs> Well, we just did the redraw, and like yesterday, we were gonna be rolling off from the second row inside starting position. Pulled the three. The only bad news, which there isn't really bad news because we start towards the front, but I had the one and I traded with Brett McGuy, and I gave him the one and he gave me the three, but at least it wasn't catastrophic, like a one to a seven or one to an eight. We're still gonna be in the first two rows. Here's a little bit of a look at the surface. You can see not much grip down low and just a little bit to lean on up top. I'm not gonna call it early. I'll know a little bit more after they run the other divisions, but I'm kind of nervous that it's gonna rubber up. There's just not much grip down low. It's You have to slow down a ton down here and watch out for these infield tractor tires. And then up top, it's already pushed pretty close to the fence. So there's not too many, there's not too much direction on both sides going low or going high for the racetrack to move. So hopefully they can get out here and rework it and get some grip back in it. So we actually can run 40 laps if they end up sticking to that and run a race and actually race, you know, not end up single filing out because of rubber or just because of how uh, the racetrack develops. Yeah, love you, man. You got this, hammer down. Warm, warm, warm your tires up, get them warm, you know? Yeah. All right, love you. Be careful, lap one, dude.
Take me to the hop pit. <laughs> Tanner, just work your way back up there. It's easy, just look what you were doing. So while I went to the work area, they did the open red for all the other drivers. And then once I got pushed back out, they said we were either racing till 1130 because we were so close to curfew, or if we made it to lap 40, we would complete the race. But no one could agree on the lineup. So we rolled around for a very long time, just trying to get everyone in the right place. And we only got to finish the race with a couple more laps. Right, guys the main event is over i've got some fans that want to be uh, in today's video what's your name kason what's your name buddy landon Keenan. and where are you guys from you guys from right here in willamette yep. lebanon thank you so much for stopping by absolutely uh, action-packed crowd tonight cool to see the oregon uh, the oregon sprint car scene show up and support all of us well we are all loaded up and um not the result we were looking for tonight at willamette don't have really anything good to say, so I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet and keep my mouth shut. Overall, we were the best car tonight. We did not get the job done. I, uh, I made a mistake in lap traffic. I got too comfortable. The car in front of me that I ended up crashing with maybe around lap 22. Um, he was running the top, running the top, running the top, so for some reason I just committed in my mind I was gonna slide him and I was already committed to that going down the straightaway. I'm just thinking he's going to the top and then he didn't go to the top and I don't need to watch it back, but my fault. I'll take responsibility for that situation, but there's just, there was so much wrong with tonight's weekend or tonight's race and the whole weekend, guys. I'm not even, like I said, I'm not even gonna get into it, but the root of the whole problem that I will say to give some context to the situation IHS rules and how a lot of the series do it here in the Northwest is if you lap a race car they stay in line So last night and tonight at one point we had roughly five or six lap cars in between us and the second place car when the yellows came out Which means there should have been cars in between the leader and second place and in throughout the whole field Well Willamette scoring was incapable of doing that was what I was told I asked about it I tried to insist that we follow the rules but Willamette scoring could not do that. So every single time with our huge field, they just kept putting the lap cars to the back. So we catch them in two laps, which I'm not against lap traffic, but if the rule is that we should be following it. And then that's kind of what caused all those situations because you know, within a lap or two, we're already back in lap traffic and we're racing around guys that are super off the pace and it's just chaos. So I don't know, I'm horribly frustrated. I, I don't have anything, like I said, anything else to say. I just, um, I don't know, I'm just trying to hold it together right now, guys. So, um, beyond frustrated, should have won tonight, but that's how it goes. So, big thanks to my crew, my family, everyone else. We're headed back to Southern Oregon, and we let one get away tonight of just because of mistake on my part and, and a lot of other things that added up to it. So, thank you guys so much for your support, and we'll see you all uh, back, back home in, in Southern Oregon. Peace.